coast. I'd like to just uh, ask for at least some thought being given without moving in that direction of moving to uh, Galala uh, for the one on the coast. And as uh, former Supervisor Wagonet said, boy, that's really down there. Uh, but I think uh, there is a little bit of Walla versus Point Arena kind of rivalry, and I think it would be uh, a good idea since we have a functioning uh, and a very productive uh, GMAC down there. I think it might be at least something we can take seriously, and uh, uh, maybe we'll get somebody to uh, make the case better than I can. Who's but I, I would support that. It, it, Looking at it personally, it, it kind of forces me to get down there because of my <laughs> travels. I don't normally go to Walla Walla. You know? No, I wouldn't think you would, John. Yeah, but, uh, so <laughs> if I, I weren't supervisor, I don't know that I would be down there that often. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, David. Careful. No, I'm just <laughs> the uh, How about yeah. uh, the August 5th date then? Uh, or would the supervisor prefer the October 7th date for Walla Walla? It, uh, Makes no difference either one. Let's keep it open as. Let's go down there in the open. summer. It's cooler. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of why I was thinking. Yeah. August fifth. Uh, Supervisor. Sure. Sure. Right. Let's schedule that, and then we'll take up the October seventh yeah. at a later date. Okay. Too too late. You're outvoted. Mr. Chairman, that happens to be the same week as the fair here makes it very difficult for this board member to go all the way to Guadalajara and be mm. back here in time. So I will miss it if it's in Guadalajara. The board can do what it wants, but if we're going to pack up staff and head on out to do these off-site meetings, we ought to at least do it when we can try to get everybody there. Yeah, I would then. Uh, I did Summer's probably. fine, but that's not the day to do it. Okay. We'll do it. Okay, let's hold off on the August yeah. and October dates then, and, and we'll have a further yeah. discussion. Okay. So uh, slapped. Thank you, Supervisor. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see I think that takes up I just have a few informational items uh, um, we would like to take some uh, reshots of the photos for the group today or would next Tuesday be better next Tuesday next Tuesday okay I put on a clean shirt for this. I brought my only clean yeah, shirt <laughs> Let's see. We're going through the evaluation on the chairs. Okay. Um, the mayor of Ukiah contacted me in regards to an item that uh, is now, I think, moving into the second year of discussion, maybe even longer than that. And that was uh, where are we on the revenue sharing uh, agreement with the two committees? Uh, I believe the committee from the supervisors was Supervisor Delvar and myself. And um, uh, it's been at least a year since we talked about this item. Um, the mayor is requesting an either uh, let's get on with it proposal or let's uh, put it to bed once and for all uh, discussion. Um, Mr. CEO, do you have any input on this? Yes, I, th I think there are a number of ways that revenue sharing agreements can be helpful between cities and counties. but. In light of the pressing financial needs, as, as we've heard eloquently from supervisors' pinches this morning, I, I think the best approach to suggest is that it's really something needs to be looked at from the standpoint of the overall budget picture for the county. I certainly think it's something we could uh, look at through the proposed budget process and come up, uh, there's some financial analysis that needs to be done possibly by an outside consultant. So if you would uh, just give us a recommendation to in include the discussion as part of the proposed budget process, I certainly think it would be worthwhile continuing the discussions. Supervisor Delmore. Well, thank you. I think that's. I think the discussions need to continue. A lot of the parameters have changed since the previous discussions occurred, but I'd I'd like to have at least the committee on this side of the of the discussion get together and have further dis further talks and address some of those issues prior to the proposed budget. Whatever that's worth. Okay, Supervisor Pinchin. Well, in light of trying to complete this general plan process, including that, the UVAP and all those issues, 
I think it's premature at this time to talk about anything. Maybe in, as uh, Tom mentioned about the economic impacts and everything, I, th I mean, maybe in the future, these c discussions, it's an, always an option. But at this time, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't support, I don't support any tax sharing agreement at this time for the basic principle is when, and I told somebody this the other night when they asked me about that, I says, when you can show me where the city of Kaya has spent one of their tax dollars in Leightonville or Covalo or Leggett, then I might consider it. But until that happens, I'm going to have a hard time even supporting the concept. Thank you, Supervisor. Supervisor Smith. Um, well, let's see. We had the committee was uh, reformulated, I think, a number of months ago. So About is a there a report from the committee? Has the committee met? What's, what's, what's happened since the committee was formed? Do, you have, do we have any updates? The only meeting of the committee was to uh, bring a historical perspective to the city's committee, which had a new member, and brought that member, which is now the mayor, um, uh, Doug Crane, up to speed. And uh, uh, we were to go back and uh, reevaluate the information, et cetera, that had, that had previously been discussed. and. Um, at that time, from the direction of the board, it was still under discussion of the CEO's office with uh, Mr. Shaw at the time to continue to work towards that item. We've only had that one informational meeting, and uh, um, government being government, uh, no other meeting has taken place, and so the mayor is asking for a reaffirmation. Is this the direction we want to go? And uh, um, simple as that of a yes or a no. So uh, that's kind of the total report in the last okay. so many months. Supervisor Pinches. What to me is a bigger issue that should be talked about is the tremendous loss of sales tax revenue that we are losing in the county uh, through internet sales. Uh, I heard one report, it was on the news, that they just in the last, this last year's Christmas season, that internet sales were up almost double what they were the previous year. You know, it's getting to be a substantial amount, and in rural areas where people order and buy things, it's a big issue. You know, I believe that there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of people that buy equipment and vehicles and whatnot that are not traced back to the residence ownership, so we don't capture that sales tax. I think that's where the focus should be on is not not basically in partnering up with with giving up our future, but we need to be concentrate more on trying to capture the sales taxes that are really there for the county. That's where I think the emphasis should be on. Okay, I'm kind of seeing that as a separate budgetary exactly, issue. Exactly, it is. It is. But something that needs to be addressed exactly. and, and take a look at. Um, uh, so direction of the board would be back to the CEO's office for uh, building this into the budget. Is that what I'm hearing? That's what I heard from the CEO. Uh, discussion items in relation to that. Mr. CEO. Yes, I, uh, that would be our recommendation because uh, in order to do some solid financial analysis, you may need uh, to take a look at some uh, agreements that have been done between other cities and counties. I think the ones that work best are, are ones that uh, there is some degree of control that is still exercised by the party that's giving up the funds. Uh, and there are ways that you can go through and uh, have clauses where you revisit based upon changing economic uh, conditions. I think it's worthwhile pursuing, uh, but I think we we need to be careful about going down that road to make sure that we address the long-term financial health of the county as well as the city. Uh, I see a number of projects out there in the short time that I've been with the been here in this county that I think there are opportunities certainly for the city and county to partner and straighten out um, some of the of the planning issues and traffic issues that I see around the city of Ukiah and such things as you know the extension of South State Street if the city's going to move forward with a major development 